443 this morning looking forward to a great day of coverage of women in power and rich and married in terms of people looking forward to the weather everyone's wondering about thanksgiving Thanksgiving looks a little damp, <laughs> but uh, shorter term, if you're traveling today or tomorrow, it's yep. going to be perfect. I mean, we're going to be just have your sunglasses because there's going to be a lot of sunshine out there today and tomorrow. Then it starts to turn wet as we head towards Wednesday and Thursday. But, you know, this is uh, it's a time of year it should be wet, wettest month of the year. So <laughs> but not this year. Take a look outside the Bellevue Tower Cam. Not showing a whole lot going on. We basically have clear skies, a little bit of patchy fog around this morning. Nothing serious out at SeaTac, as you'd expect that early morning back up there on the departure deck, even at 430. It's already starting to back up, so a lot of people are going to be flying this week. So expect the airport just to be jammed and allow yourself plenty of extra time if you're dropping somebody off or if you're headed out that way yourself or if you're picking somebody up for that matter, allow extra time. Temperature wise, you can see it's another chilly morning out there with clear skies overnight. That little bit of fog, just pretty limited, it looks like. Anywhere from the 27 degree reading there in Menlo to 41 in Westport. A little warmer down there at El Waco by the ocean at 47. Bellingham checking in this morning at 28 degrees, 37 on Camino Island. Take a look at that University of Washington model showing just a, a little bit more fog and low cloudiness than there is out there this morning. But uh, that fog does disappear quickly, what there is of it. And we're going to be looking for plenty of sunshine today. Kind of the same again tomorrow. And then as we head towards later on Tuesday, early on Wednesday, we should start to see some clouds start to roll into the area. Rain moves in during the day on Wednesday. Should be fairly wet Wednesday. That moves right on through the area, it looks like. And then we're going to see another system move in probably on uh, Thanksgiving afternoon, another wet uh, afternoon and evening as we head into Friday and then over the weekend will start to dry out a little bit. So for this morning, just a little bit of morning fog, otherwise mostly sunny temperatures into the low to mid 50s for tomorrow. Some morning fog, then partly sunny, low to mid 50s. Wednesday, let's look for a rainy day by and large uh, for traveling around the area. Increasing, we'll see showers around early on Thanksgiving Day, a little bit of a pause, but then increasing rain in the afternoon, upper 40s. Rain to showers on Friday and it looks like showers Saturday, partly sunny with just a couple showers Sunday and looks like snow levels which are around oh, 9 10,000 feet right now are going to be dropping down to 4,000 feet later Wednesday, maybe getting down to 3,000 feet as we head towards Friday and we'll talk more about that. All right, Joyce.